I got a new hat. I'm not sure what I think yet. Is the pink too much? What do you guys think? Anyway, I also got blue. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to my hairdresser next weekend. So you guys will see some non-hat videos soon. <laughs> All right, so I have a featured seller video for you guys, and I have 28 bolos coming your way, and these are big money bolos, things that I would probably walk right past, and that is one thing I love doing, why I love doing featured seller videos, because I learn so much. Like you guys learn from my what sold videos, I don't really learn from those. You know, I guess seeing the items again helps me. But when I do featured seller videos, it's kind of like you guys, when you watch my videos, like I'm learning also, and I love that. So um, Toledo Antiques is who I'm featuring, and they were recently on my live show, my Bolo live show. If you missed that, definitely go check it out. But I pulled different items from their sold list, and they are amazing, you guys. They are definitely somebody that um, you should check out. And I forgot to pull up their eBay store. Let me do that real quick. I don't have a um, pause button, so I think you can still see me. I am pulling up their channel. I usually do this ahead of time, and for some reason, I forgot. And I want to make sure I show it to you guys, because that is what I do. Everybody that shares their bolos with us, I like to take the time to share with you guys their channels, because you guys can definitely learn from them. And I really appreciate their time that they take to send me the bolos. Okay, it's pulled up. So I'm going to show you that real quick first. And here it is. Toledo Antique. So this is their YouTube channel. It is a reseller channel. So please definitely go over and subscribe to them. There will be a link in the description of the video. All right, let's get started with some big money bolos. All right, I do have, you see up here, this little um, says update. Um, so I have a Google update. Hope that doesn't mess anything up. All right, so the first item is this TL, I'm sorry, LCT. Yeah, it's up. LCT Tiffany Studios art glass. And when they were on the Bolo live show, they mentioned that they bought a bunch of Tiffany items, which just amazing to me how much these items sell for. Um, I know they did pay up for these items, but they knew that they would sell for big money. So it was worth it. So um, they got this at an estate sale and it was an estate sale of an antique dealer. They did pay $300 for this, but it sold for the asking price of $1,599. I can't say that I even would have picked this up and looked at the bottom. And if I did, I can't say I would have thought anything of it. So there you go. The next item that sold is this big jug. Um, it's called Turkey Droppings. <laughs> I don't know why it's called turkey droppings maybe i are those supposed to look like turkey droppings i don't know it's very odd but it is a crock um and it has a crack and you can see right here they pointed out the crack they put that it has a crack in the title and it sold for $69.99 and the buyer looks like they paid $120 for the shipping. So that is a lot of money for shipping. This was a consignment item. So they paid half of the sold price to the um, person that gave it to them to consign. The next item is this vintage um, Warwick Loga Champion Rodney Stone Pitcher with a Bulldog on it. How cool is that? Um, so this one, they bought it in an estate sale. They paid $30 for it, and it sold for $154.25. And it had four unique bidders, or I'm sorry, four bids. And you can see here, their pictures show, you know, the height. I do that too with the measuring tape. Here's what's on the bottom. Always, always take a picture of any type of label or marking. That definitely helps your buyers decide. 
This is a three string triangular wooden banjo. How cool is that? I'm telling you, they have really unique, cool items in their store. So definitely check out their store. Again, I will also link that down in the description of the video. So they got this at a local auction. They paid $3 for it and it sold for $100. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I've been recording videos for a while tonight. I should have grabbed a water. Um, sorry. Um, they said it did take a year to sell. So uh, maybe not the most like high demand item, but definitely a weight on the right buyer and you'll make some money. $3 into a hundred is fantastic. The next item is this vintage Stanley Bailey hand, hand plane. Okay. And this was doing that the other day when I was doing the live show. It must be when I zoom in um, that I'm getting that uh, issue. So this one they bought at a local estate sale. They paid $5 for it and it sold for $119.99 and it sold within a few weeks. It looks like they auctioned it. The next item is this Fenton Carnival glass footed cake plate, 85th birthday, December 1st, 2000. And I believe Carnival glass has that like iridescent look to it. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know who is really good at glass is over the years. If you guys have not checked out their YouTube channel, definitely check it out. So here is the sticker. And it says Fenton. And I think Fenton varies. So definitely look it up if you see it. Uh, this was a consignment item, paid half of the price to the client, and it sold for $99. The next item are these collection of eight La Ladro, I think is how you say it, Ladro, Christmas ornament bells. Uh, these they were got from an estate sale. They paid $2 for each, so a total of $16. They took a month to sell, and they sold for $89.99. And I don't tell you guys how long things took to sell because I don't keep track of that. I wonder how they keep track of it. That would be interesting. I wonder if like they put the date they listed it in the SKU. I could do that. I don't know. Okay, this one, I love this one. It's Sleeping Beauty Dwarf Jewelry Box. They bought this at a garage sale for $3 and it sold for $70. Took one year to sell. So this is definitely an item I would pick up. Um, and most of their items are not items I would pick up just because I'm not knowledgeable. But this I would have picked up. Super cute. The next item is this Timeless Collectibles by Boutique. Enterprises, Emmett and his sleigh. This came from, it was consignment for a client, paid half the price to the client, sold for $59.99, and it sold within a week. So it was a fast sale. Um, I don't know why. I guess it's collectible, highly collectible, maybe. Looks like it's got its paperwork. So yeah. The next item that sold is this Americana Golden Heritage Silverware, and it is gold silverware. And I have heard that gold silverware can be a bolo, so I definitely wanted to share this one with you guys. I don't, I'm, I'm sure the pattern can make a difference too and what it sells for, but I have seen other people sell gold silverware. Uh, they got this at an estate sale, paid $10, and it sold for $74.99, but it did take a year to sell. The next item is this vintage Nettie Rosenstein sweet pea brooch with clear rhinestones. I just thought this was adorable. Um, it's a little pea. It's a pea pod. And this one, they bought it in a state sale, paid $5, and it sold for $59.99. Super cute. The next item, I love this. It's so cute. It's a Hurend Hungary or Hungary. Hungry, hung, Hungary. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're going to watch this and be like, man, that girl does not know how to pronounce anything. Um, hand painted miniature owl figurine. So definitely check out their channel because I don't know if they do what sold videos, but I'm sure that they talk about these items and they can tell you how to pronounce these things. Um, consignment for a client paid half of the price to the client and it sold for $64.99. And that is 
adorable. I definitely 100% would have picked that little guy up. The next item is this vintage brown Bakelite bangle bracelet. We all know that Bakelite can be a major bolo and it does definitely vary. But uh, this bracelet sold for $57.99. They bought it at a store closing sale and paid $2. And if you guys do not know how to test for Bakelite, I do have two separate videos on that. I just did a more recent one of some items that I got in a mystery jewelry box. And it turned out that some of them were Bakelite. So definitely check out that video. The next item is this Ned Foltz Redware Pottery Cow Plate. Uh, I don't typically pick up plates. I know some people sell plates, but uh, like the decorative plates, but I probably would have walked right past this. Um, I don't know. It's a cow. Uh, let's see. It sold for $39.99, paid $3 for it at an estate sale, and it sold within a couple weeks. So I would have walked right past money just because I don't like plates. <laughs> The next item is this J.H. Williams Deep Throat Clamp. Uh, yeah, uh, I would have brought that home and said to my husband, what is this? He probably would have known. Bought at a garage sale of my neighbors, paid $2 and sold it for $30. Sold within a couple months. So again, tools are not really, I'm not big on tools. The next item is this Corgi. I have sold this brand before, so um, I probably would have picked this up. It's a 326 Chevrolet Caprice police car. I think I said that right. Uh, consignment for a client, paid half the price to the client, sold for $34.99, sold within a couple weeks. And I also have more of those that I sold in the same week in my store for, for local market. All right, the next item is this retro alarm clock. And it, it has glow-in-the-dark hands, but you can see it's just a small little clock. Does a tape go in the back? Oh, no, maybe not. It looks like a tape cassette, but it's not. I think those are just like maybe things you turn probably to set the time. Okay, we'll pretend I didn't say that. It's getting late here in Ohio. Um, paid $3 and sold it for $34.99. They got it at an estate sale and it sold within a couple weeks. The next item is this Thorin's Movement Elderweiss Music Box. Super cute. I feel like I have something similar to this listed. Not the same, but similar. And mine is not as detailed. And I don't think it's the same brand, but it's similar. I'll have to look. Maybe it's sold. I can't remember. But uh, they bought this at an estate sale for a dollar and it sold for $65 within a couple months. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Star Wars C 3. PO carrying case. And this is what it looks like. And they got this for eight bucks at an estate sale and it sold for $69.99. The buyer paid the shipping and it sold within a month. The next item they sold is this Techniques by Panasonic. Um, it's a direct drive player system. It's a turntable, you guys. Uh, bought from a client, paid $50, and it sold for $350, sold within a year. That's weird. My ears are ringing. Do you guys ever have ringing ears? I don't have it very often, but they're ringing. Okay, the next item. Okay, it quit. That was odd. Vintage Arthur. I'm getting old. My ears were ringing. Vintage Arthur Godfrey Baritone Ukulele. My husband has sold ukuleles before. I think he has one that he needs to list. It's some type of little instrument. But they got this at... Uh-oh. Here it is. Bought at a local auction, paid $2, and sold it for $400 within a year. Wow. That is awesome. Two bucks, guys, into $400. Now that is a bolo. The next item is this... Bohemian, is that Bohemian or Bohem? Oh my goodness. This is why I don't sell these types of things because I can't look them up because I don't know what they say. <laughs> All right. Um, limited issue Princess Diana Rose with Daffodils, 1984 England. This is really pretty. Um, I can't say that I would have grabbed it. Would you guys have grabbed it? Here's the bottom. I probably would have looked it up. 
Bo him, Boham, Boham. All right. I know you guys are going to um, let me know in the comments how to pronounce it because you always do. You guys are awesome. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bought it on a local estate for $6 and sold it for $199.99 and sold within a month. And that, that's a quick flip. The next item is this Dresden Sandizel, Sandizel figurine woman playing a piano. This one, I would have walked right past it. Yeah, I would have walked right past it. How about you guys? Uh, consignment for a client paid half of the sold price to the client and it sold for $200 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Edgerton China dinner plates E209-311 set of six. And let me get you a picture of the bottom right there it is. And these, they bought it in a state sale, paid 50, sold for 250, sold within a year. It says, I actually bought 12 of those and I sold six in the first month after I bought it for 250. And then I relisted the other six left and sold them within six months. So $500 they made on that. That's amazing. The next is this Brussels, Brussels World's Fair bracelet map and booklets huh okay interesting it's got so it's kind of like ephemera but it has a bracelet interesting i'm not sure i would have picked that up uh bought at a garage sale paid ten dollars and sold it for 199 dollars and 99 cents sold within a year the next item is another flower and you can see here it's really quite detailed. Uh, they got this, oh, it's that same brand that I can't pronounce. Oh, and this one, it's written on the stem. So you got to kind of look and it is made in England. That's cool. And it's porcelain flower sculpture, Pat Nixon, Camilla, I think, Camilla. I don't know. Uh, bought it in a state sale, same that I bought the other flower listed. Paid $3, sold it for $149.99, sold in a few weeks, arrived in perfect condition to the client. So I told them they need to, um, or not need to, but I would like them to do some shipping videos on how they ship their uh, glass and their plates because they have sold like big sets of glass. And I'm like, how on earth do you get that to arrive without breaking? So I definitely am hoping that they will do a video. And if they do, I will share it on my community page for you guys, because I'm sure you're all wondering how they do it also. This is really cool. It's vintage art glass perfume bottle signed Zwerfor. <laughs> Werfor. I don't know if that's Z's silent. But anyway, it's really, really cool. Um, definitely a very cool piece. And you can see it's dated and signed right there. It's really, really neat. It had two bids and sold for $149.99. They got it at an estate sale for $4. And yeah, I wouldn't have known that that was a perfume bottle. The next item they sold is this World's Columbian Exposition uh, Chicago 1894 Illustrated Portfolio Edition. So I guess it's like a, a portfolio type book. And they got this consignment for a client, paid half of the sold price to the client, and it sold for $149.99, and it sold within a week. So definitely very cool. So their eBay store is Ohio Stamp. And again, I will um, put a link down in the description of the video, but you can see they have lots of items that I don't like to ship. So you can definitely, definitely gain and learn from looking through their store because they have amazing stuff. And you're not going to learn this stuff from me because I'm not shipping this type of stuff. So definitely check them out. Check out their YouTube channel. Again, it is Toledo Antique. And they do a thing, a silver dollar giveaway. So definitely check out that video to see what that's all about. And not tons of content yet, but their channel is definitely growing. And I think they're looking to expand it even more. But they do have um, a lot of knowledge on vintage and antique items. So 
please go over and subscribe and tell them Bolo Buddies sent you. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the next video. And let me know what you think about the pink. I mean, I'm keeping it because it's a hat. And I did link down in the description of the video, the link, if anybody wants to go and buy a hat like this with the bill, I put a link down there. You never know. Oh, and what's really cool, this is for my female viewers that can wear a ponytail. There's a hole up here and your ponytail can stick out of it. So if you want to wear your hair in a ponytail, but you still want to keep your head warm, it's got a ponytail hole. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next Bolo video. Oh, I kind of like that. I'll see you at the next Bolo video.